A B 12 12 Drag the correct number to match the written number 70 Sunday Monday February March April 6:15 or Quarter past six. Drag each word to the correct position on the face. Forehead. Eye. Click and drag the jumbled words to the correct spaces. The elbow is in the middle of the arm. How much is a large coffee? It is one dollar and eighty cents. Is the doctor free this afternoon at 4.30? Yes, he is. I will book you in for 4.30 this afternoon, Joseph. Thanks very much. I would like to book a room. Single or double? Apple. Tout faire. Apple. Apple juice. Asir tout faire. Welcome to Burger Haven. May I help you? Yes. I'd like a hamburger and an order of french fries. مرحبا بك في مطعم Burger Haven. هل يمكنني مساعدتك؟ أجل أريد شطيرة همبرغر وطلبا من البطاطس المقلية. What is the name of the fast food restaurant? ما اسم مطعم المأكولات السريعة? Food for thought means something worth thinking about seriously. موضوع جدير بالتفكير فيه معنى شيء ما يستحق أن تفكر فيه على نحو جاد Excuse me, Mr. Britton. Do you have a minute? Yes, of course, John. What is it? I'd like to introduce our new network manager to you. This is Ridwan Effendi. Ridwan, this is our director, Mr. David Britton. How do you do, Ridwan? How do you do, Mr. Britton? Welcome to Britton Industries. We're happy to have you join our company. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure to be here. Jonathan, you're a chef, aren't you? Yes, that's right, Ruby. Tell me, what do you do on a typical day? Well, my day starts very early in the morning. I have to get up and go to the market to buy fresh food. Then I go to my restaurant and plan the menu for the evening meal. Next, I start to prepare the food. I cut up vegetables, I make sauces and stocks. And I make cakes and pastries. Formal? I'd like to introduce... It's a pleasure to meet you. False. No, some married women do not wear a ring, and some unmarried women do. If you are unsure, you can ask, do you prefer Miss, Ms., or Mrs.? Are you having a good time? Yes, I am. This is a great party. In conversation one, George sounds rude and unfriendly. His answers are too short. In conversation two, he sounds interested and friendly. He gives longer answers, asks questions, and gives Ridwan some information about himself. Can you mark the stressed syllables? No, try again. That's right. Secretary. April is a receptionist. Listen to what she says about her job and decide whether what she says is a personal quality or a duty. I have to greet people. Click on the word which doesn't belong in each group. Can you think why? Agency. The others are qualifications. The second job applicant, Sarah Crawford, gives the best interview. She is polite and friendly, but not too casual. Dictation. Write the sentences you hear in the space. May I have your name, please? Good morning. Frontline Advertising Company. May I help you? Hello. Could I speak to Sally Engels and personnel, please? May I have your name, please? My name is Joe Black. Just a moment, Mr. Black. 
I'm afraid her line is busy at the moment. Would you like to hold? Uh, no. Could I leave a message? Yes, of course. Listening comprehension. Did Joe speak to Sally Ingalls? <music> Telephone phrases and expressions. Introducing yourself. This is Adam. Adam speaking. Asking who is on the telephone. Who's calling, please? Asking for someone. Can I have extension four eight one? Extensions are internal numbers at a company. Today we have to make some decisions. Which section of the market should we target? Children under ten or young people in their early twenties? I think we should go for the young adult market. We can create a new candy bar that's sophisticated in taste, one with chocolate and coffee flavors. Say, I'm sorry, Wendy, but I don't agree. I think we already know the kids' market very well, and it's so much more fun. Vocabulary development. You can often guess the meaning of an unfamiliar word by focusing on the context in which the word is presented. Listen to or read the conversations in this unit again. And find the words that correspond to the following definitions. Write the words in the spaces provided. The first example has been done for you. When will your research be ready, Virginia? Well, it's almost ready now. We surveyed the market. All we have to do is write the report. And what did you find out? There are two areas that have strong potential for growth. The first is the youth market. Children under ten. They love candy and they eat a lot of it. The strong possibility of achieving something. Potential. Usually, we try to be more tactful when we are disagreeing. Listen to these examples. Notice how we use a negative expression to soften the disagreement. That's not right. I'm not sure I agree with you. I'm afraid I don't really agree with you. We can make our disagreement more tactful by apologizing. Listen to Nick from Conversation Three of this unit. I'm sorry, Wendy, but I don't agree. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I agree with you. I'm sorry, but I can't agree. An executive. Ronald Earbash talking about marketing a product. Drag the words in the box to the spaces to complete the conversation. Product. Tell me, what exactly is marketing? Well, marketing is the whole process of getting people to buy a product or a service. It starts with a decision about who the target market is. Joe, a few of us got together and decided to get you something to remember us by. Yes, we all put in. That's right. Oh, you really shouldn't have. That wasn't necessary. Hi, Amina. Hi, Atsuko. How nice of you to visit. And what beautiful pink roses. We thought you might like some fresh fruit as well. Oh, how lovely. How are you feeling? In Western cultures, it's often considered better to open a present immediately in front of the friend who has given it to you, unless the present is presented at a large reception such as a wedding, where the presents are usually opened later. This way, your friend can enjoy your surprise as you open the gift. Peace talks have broken down in Karuna, where negotiators have been trying to find a way to end two years of fighting. Let's cross to our reporter in Karuna, Marvin Quest. Marvin, this is an unexpected development, isn't it? Yes, it is, Janet.、Uh, we had expected negotiators to sign an agreement today, bringing to an end the two-year civil war that has devastated this country. The words in the box are all words you might see in news stories about natural disasters. Sort the words into groups according to the type of story you would expect to find them in. Then listen to the story to see if you were right. Torrential, deluge, buffet, rise. The province of Manda lies submerged under one and a half meters of water today after a week of torrential rain. News reporters often use dramatic words to make their stories more exciting. In the word groups below, the meaning is the same for all three words. Can you sort them into order from least to most dramatic? Dry, parched, arid, parched. Dictation. Write the sentences you hear in the space provided. It is hard to describe the utter devastation.
Researchers have developed a new drug to counter the effects of aging. Decide which of the following is the best description of the function of each sentence, and write the number in the space provided. The first one has been done for you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today my talk is about. That's really awful, Mabel. Why? What's wrong? Listen to your voice. You sound like you're asleep. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Try to put some life into your voice. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. That's better. Now, how many people do you expect to have in the audience? Listening comprehension. Question one. What is the first advice Terry gave Mabel? Body language. Make eye contact. Eye contact is a necessary part of communication in Western culture. In social situations, if you don't make eye contact, people will think you are evasive or even dishonest. In public speaking, if you don't make eye contact, people will feel left out and stop listening to you. Following are some simple tips that will give you that public speaking edge. You should speak slowly. Clearly, and show emotion and feelings that are connected to your speech. Idioms, flashcards. Actions speak louder than words. Means that what you do is more important than what you say. For example, of course the government has made all sorts of promises, but as we all know, actions speak louder than words. Noun categories. Click on each noun to listen to hear how it is pronounced. Then drag and drop each noun into its correct category. Material things. You can often see, touch, hear, smell, or taste them. Egg. Answers. Ideas. Abstract things you can think about or experience, religion, philosophy, freedom. Compound nouns too. Take one word from each box to replace the words in blue. Then drag and drop your answers. Some passengers are lined up at the counter where you check your tickets and your baggage. Some passengers are lined up at the check-in counter. Answers. Activity three: negative prefixes. Click on the prefix needed to form the opposite of each word. Convenient. Inconvenient. Answers. Comparatives and superlatives. One. Complete the table by typing in the missing words. Quick. Quicker. Quickest. Answers. Rules. Type one word from each box to complete the sentences. You may need to change the verb to agree with the subject. This food tastes awful. I can't eat it. Rules. Most verbs are followed by an object. Example: Michael loves Sarah. Some verbs do not lead to an object. They tell us more about their subject and are often followed by an adjective. Example: Michael feels sick. In the following sentences, replace get got with a suitable verb from the box. You may need to change the form of the verb.
Yesterday, Mary got a letter from her friend in Jakarta. Yesterday, Mary received a letter from her friend in Jakarta. Answers. Activity one: Identifying adverbs. Read the paragraph below and click on the adverbs and adverbial phrases to highlight them. There are fourteen adverbs, adverbial phrases. The first has been done for you as an example. Rules: Adverbs modify verbs. They say how, when, how frequently, and where an action takes place. Activity seven: Position of adverbs two. If there is more than one type of adverb in a sentence, the usual order is manner, place, time. Activity four: Questions. Yesterday, Bill had a job interview. Today, he is telling his friend about it. Write the questions in formal, reported speech. Don't forget to shift to the past tense. What are your qualifications? She asked me what my qualifications were. Rules: reporting with question words. He asked me what time it was. Who is that man? He asked me who that man was. Activity nine: direct speech, punctuation. Drag the symbols in the box to punctuate the sentences with ten capital letters, nine commas, seventeen periods, one exclamation mark, one question mark, and fourteen sets of quotation marks. Beth, would you like to go to the library on Saturday? What time? Nine o'clock. The library does not open until ten on Saturdays. Okay, we will go at ten o'clock. Thank you all for coming along today. I'd like to start by introducing a new member of the team to you. This is Ridwan Effendi. He's just moved here from Indonesia. Where he was IT manager for ABC Company, he's going to be in charge of our local area network. And Francis Dean, who manages our data. Hello, Francis. Hi, Ridwan. And Shirley Johnson. Shirley runs our design department. Nice to meet you, Shirley. And you, Ridwan. Now let's get down to business, shall we? Hello, Computer Service Hotline. Can I help you? Yes, I bought a computer at your store yesterday, and it's not working. Really? What's wrong with it? Well, when I press the power switch, I can hear it starting up, and a little green light comes on, but then nothing happens. Hmm. You say the light comes on? Yes. And you can.
Thank you.